Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to today's gaming video. In this video, I'm I'm going to tell you uh, ten amazing things about uh, Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales, which Absence the game doesn't tell you at all. And you can it, it is like much more fun in this game when you when you are uh, just able to do it. So the first thing is the air tricks. The in the in the game we just uh, have a prompt once saying that you can perform air tricks, but there is no such way. It is uh, there is no such thing. The game is telling you that how can you perform that. So first of all, you need to come to a long a long height long height building from where you can have a high jump. So I am here. You can also come to the come to this place. This is the most high building in this game the other one is somewhere here yeah this one the avengers building you can also go there or come here where i am right now this was both, both buildings are good this building is uh, good because there is more surface surface area the other one has a very low surface area the only difference is that so first of all what you need to do is there are two kinds of tricks First is where the character is uh, totally stable. It's not like a properly moving, like uh, you know, spinning or uh, spinning forward or uh, sideways or backwards. So the one I am perform performing right now is the one in which the character is spinning. So for that you have to press W with spacebar. I am playing this game on computer, so I am telling you the keyboard controls. So you need to just press W and spacebar your character will fall like this and then you have to press T when you press W it will spin forward backward and if you don't move if you don't move your character will just fall freely on the ground let me show you once again let me just go to the top real quick So once you are on the top, you just need to press W and spacebar. Your guy will fall like this. Press T, hold T, and if you press the backward key, sideways, it will spin like this. If you press the W, your character will spin forward. If you press S, your character will uh, spin backwards, and if you press A or D, your character will spin sideways. So the other tricks in which the character is stationary, I'm going to show you uh, those now. For that you just need to press W and shift. You just uh, need to press W and shift, don't press space. If you press space, your character will not fall freely. He will like fall in this manner. However, we don't want our character to fall in this state. So just press W and shift. If you press W and shift, your character will fall like this. So now you need to hold T. Oh, sorry. Uh, I think I mistakenly pressed space, but let me go to the top again. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. You need to press W and shift. When you press W and shift, your character will go like this. Reactor will go like this. Then you have to press X once, not hold it. X, press X once and then hold T. Then your uh, character will fall like this. If you press different movement keys, your character will change the position. Let me show you again once so you can get this properly. Press W and shift, press X once, then hold T and then if you press movement keys, you get to do movements like this. The other thing in this game which is very amazing is point launcher. 
in the start of the game you don't have this ability like uh, you just uh, you can just you know if you don't press space bar on the perfect timing of landing like there is only i think two to three seconds gap so your character will not point launch this is point launching if i don't do it correctly on the landing time my character will go like my character will go like this you see my character will go like this if i do it on the point of landing on on a on any surface then there is a point launch this is also a very amazing thing in marvel spider-man miles morales also it was available in uh, marvel spider-man 2018 edition it is a good way to travel fast and it is also very satisfying different vibe of this thing so other thing uh let's come to the number four which is an amazing thing to do in spider-man miles morales is that when you are moving uh like you are chasing a car it is uh it is you have to just like very fast to chase that car otherwise you have to first uh, land on the police car then land on the car of the criminals however if you don't want that you don't want to to suffer all that time you just can swing and you just need to you just need to press left control to dodge when you are swinging just dodge then swing just dodge then swing just dodge swing dodge swing dodge swing dodge this way you can change your objective faster you will get like much speed you see dodge swing dodge swing dodge swing dodge swing another good thing in this game to do is when you come to like uh, this place it is like uh, available all over in the game but uh, i know this place there are like uh, lights connected between the buildings if you go to them you can just pass through them and it is also very satisfying let me just go to it so the number four thing which is uh, very satisfying to do in this game and what uh, is not told you about the game is that you can simply just pass through these holes and it is like very satisfying you just need to press like c when you are near them it is also very satisfying in this game it looks so aesthetic the most demanding thing of this game you can just do this all day The fifth thing is all the side missions like uh, the ones which are available in the app and the ones that are that are thoroughly the game is giving you like uh, this one and this one I need to first uh, track the signal then I just need to uh, find the fucking jammers and they sound them so the thing about these the thing about these missions is that uh, it uh, it gives you the tokens which you can later use for the for buying suits or buying upgrades for your gadgets so you can always perform these missions like every 5 to 10 minutes there is a different mission in the world and the game will let you know about it 
again and again. So it is. These missions are best for uh, buying upgrades for your gadgets or for your suits. So you can use these. You can do these missions in order to in order to get tokens and uh, buy upgrades Another thing which is very satisfying in this game is uh, just throwing enemies. Like you can just hit them with the swing leg and they'll just fall off from the building and you just not need to kill everyone. The game doesn't tell you. The game doesn't tell you about this thing. You can just throw them with the leg swing from the building and you just don't need to kill them properly another thing which is very very good. satisfying in this game is that you can just hold F to you can just hold F to grab the enemy weapons and when you do this when you do this it will it will attach venom stun to it and then the enemy is also venom stun then you can just grab the enemy too and just grab him and throw him this is also very satisfying thing in this game so so good so far six things are completed so for the number seven is that you can just if you land on any vehicle like if you stand in front of them they'll surely stop but if you if you like stand on any vehicle it will keep moving and you can like uh, if you don't wanna try on fast or uh, like you are just uh, doing something on your phone and you just kept the uh, game running you can just leave your character on the car or any vehicle so your character will like keep moving and you can just see the world in this game without even like engaging with your keyboard or your mouse another satisfying thing about this game is the swinging when you are swinging around the city you can just uh, press T for some air tricks actually there are they are not like uh, air tricks they are swinging trick like hey got word of a donation stand robbery normally your video. character swings like this right normally your character swings like this very normal and very simple basic so during swinging when you press t basically what it does your character will swing like different so if i hold the t you can see my character is now swinging like this in a hanging position so good so far seven points completed so another very satisfying thing in this game is that when you are swinging through the city and you are swinging it is basically a skill of your venom punch Hey, some basically it is a skill of your venom punch chase. when you are swinging you 
and you are like in the air like not really swinging when you are in the air you can press space bar and right mouse click button and your character will rise up in the air it is also very satisfying and also very useful to gain altitude like this is one of the most amazing and beautiful things I like about this game. So good so far. 8 points are completed. For the ninth point in this game is that is the the ninth most amazing thing about this game is the water mechanics. The mechanics of water are really really, really amazing is so good and real like you can literally shoot and you will see water properly in the water you can see the fishes and you can even like swim a little bit in the water and you can move forward however it's not the part of the uh, game map so you can't just go much further so good so far 9 points are completed the 10th most amazing thing about this game is the photo mode if you go to your settings menu your pause menu basically you can see your character taking selfies or many other things you can move your camera like everything So the camera type you can select selfie or orbit also free in the free mode I can like go anywhere I want and I can also change the suits from this menu right now I am using prop matter and the photo mode is the ninth most amazing thing in this game when you literally do anything you can take selfies and you have just like all the controls so good so far nine points are completed you go to like selfie type in the camera type you go to selfie type and you can literally see your character like spider-man is really enjoying the swim he's like really enjoying the water so in this case you can like if you change your suit you can like tell your camera okay have like full control and it's also very satisfying like the spider-man is like really enjoying the same so these are the 10 points about this game which are like really amazing the game doesn't tell you all or, at all which you can also enjoy even if you end your story mode so if you do like the video you learn something from this video or if you found this video if you found this video amusing kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video leave a comment in the comments box so i can know your thoughts bye bye